I guess uh, we're also cautiously optimistic at this point because like compared to the US market, I think we've been seeing uh, Hong Kong China has been pretty much performing a little bit more resiliently more recently. I guess like the reason like for Hong Kong performing better than like comparatively to US and like European markets is that uh, Hong Kong has, I think, uh, basically uh, since last year and early this year, I think most negatives have been priced in. Uh, so basically we've been seeing a trade war impact, uh, China economy slow down, uh, Hong Kong economy slow down, uh, the unrest from the social uh, impact from the social unrest and now also the uh, virus situation I guess like people have been sort of factoring sort of like doomsday scenarios and negatives in there already so basically basically any news that comes out uh, right now isn't something mm-hmm. that we haven't heard before whereas in the US I guess like people so US basically they've been outperforming for the past like few years including uh, last year so basically when all the negatives come in and people sort of realize that is what happening to the uh, China market then I guess like that is translating to the US market right now so I guess like for right now I guess like there's a little bit more downside for the US equities whereas for China I guess like people have been sort of seeing okay valuations I guess are getting a little bit attractive right now near the trough of historical valuations okay. and seems like the situation in China is also getting a little bit better sure. in terms of the virus situation. So okay. I guess like that's why the markets are climbing back up. Okay, everybody's talking about recovery. What will it take for markets to recover in a meaningful way from here? Uh, I guess like for the markets to get in for the meaningful way, I guess first we still need to wait till the uh, virus situation globally gets over. So I don't think that will happen uh, within the next uh, few months. So basically from an, like an optimistic standpoint, I guess like it'll be the uh, summer months. But then I guess like it really depends on whether that does happen or not. So I guess like for the next like three months or so, I guess there won't be really meaningful uh, uh, a meaningful rebound because especially when the uh, economic numbers for first quarter comes out, second quarter comes out, I don't think they will look great. So they'll be weighing down on the markets continuously. But then I guess like if we take that apart, like uh, China, I guess like in terms of the economic numbers or in terms of stimulus packages, I guess like those will come out and those will uh, basically reflect more in the second half of the uh, situation. Uh, is over, then I guess that's when the uh, markets will get a little bit better, like towards the second half of this year. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.